welcome, welcome to everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about our Father, which arts in heaven, His Son, Yahshua HaMashiach, and the Ruhr HaKadosh that teaches you all spiritual things. Man cannot teach you nothing spiritual because man is not Ruhr HaKadosh. He is not the Holy Spirit. He is not the Spirit of the Most High. We are living off the Most High Spirit. And the Ruhr HaKadosh is the extra comforter that shows you, saves you, gives you that ability to be written in the book of the Lamb. Rejoice if you are a true chosen one. And I'm not saying a true chosen one that's still cursing and still angry and still drinking and still uh, being uh, being disobedient to the most high commandments because this is what it's truly about obedience obedience the Ruhr HaKadosh cannot teach you nothing about Christ he cannot give you that Christ like mind if you are still tapping in sin he just can't do it you have to fight you have to war against your own self and I mean your fleshly desires that you've been feeding for so many years, so many days, so much time. So you want to have to reverse and start being strong within. And how do we do that? First of all, repent. Definitely repent. That is a must. Repent on a daily. Excuse my hair. My hair is so... I'm looking at it. I'm just... It's natural. So I'm dealing with natural hair right now. But it's all good. Repent. And tell the Father you are seemingly sorry. Repent. Repent. Mean what you say. Repent. And turn away from your sins. And when I mean turn away from your sins, don't go back no more. Don't go back to it no more. Fight. Let it burn. Let it knock you on your knees to know that there is a living father there is a living father there is a living father confess all of your sins now i tell people this on a norm i don't i'm never alone i don't know yes you are alone we all got some type of time in the day where we are not around people 24 7 even if you are in a facility, if you're incarcerated, if you're in a mental hospital, if you're in a regular hospital, if you're on your sick bed, if you're in a daycare, I don't care. You're going to have some type of alone time. You don't have to shout out what you're praying about. You can pray within. You got that subconscious mind within that you can sit there and think without somebody know what you're thinking. But the living father, oh, he knows every thought you have. He knows every vein that rolls through that heart. He knows everything. If he didn't, he wouldn't be the father. He wouldn't be that rightful judge that would judge you on that day. He has his spiritual monitor on each soul that walked this earth. I don't know how it go up there, but I tell you, it's very, very unique. And it's very, very exciting to really find out. I long for the just see his face i can't wait to even see him because he is living and i would never be up here to say something that i don't know nothing about i know he's living like i say and i say all the time i encountered the holy spirit and i have converted from who i used to be to who i am now and who i am now i am a new creature on a mission to help souls come to yashua hamashiach it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. But guess what? Who wants easy? I don't. I never did care about easy. If I don't have to put in work for it, I don't want it. And guess what? Until the Father take me off this earth, I'm going to put in work to help other souls get where they need to be in their faith. Because this is where the law is at. Your faith. 
believing in the unseen, longing for the Father, get in that Christ-like mind so you can get the Holy Spirit, so you can be saved by the spirits and water, get baptized, start your mission off finding a baptism, ask the Father first, pray to the Father, tell him to lead you, you got to pray to the Father and ask him to lead you. But first, repent, confess your sins, and start reading. Start reading that word. The word is where it's at. The word is your sword. The word is your strength. The word will help you go get your heart back from Satan where he done got everybody named he think sitting in his kingdom. He already got his kingdom set up in his little dark demand or his dark imagination. He wants a kingdom. Why you think he's doing all he can to get a kingdom? Why you think he's using loved ones to break other loved ones' hearts? If he can break one person's heart, he know that one can help him get other hearts. Go get your heart back. Go get your heart back. It's time out now. It's 2022. And five more months. Lord's will, it'll be 2023. For us age folks, we know what it is. We done been through it. And if you ain't been through it, you are irresponsible because as an aged person, you should have a lot of responsibilities, which a lot of people for so many years dodge responsibilities because they seen ways that they can dodge it. See, that's how Satan do. Satan is very observant on folks that he can use. Once he gets you set up to go out there and devour, then he know that he got somebody on his team. No, go get your heart back. And I'm gonna I'm I'm give you a little fable because I'm realistic about everything. I know everybody watched the movie Color Purple. If you didn't, go watch it. Go watch it. I don't do TV. But when I was younger, and I'm saying younger in my 20s, I loved it, the movie Color Purple. I always loved the things that was a very deep spiritual meaning. Color Purple was my movie. If I didn't watch nothing on TV, Color Purple was it. And I, I'm talking about the actors, but I'm not talking about the actors. I'm talking about the meaning of the movie. I don't have an idol. My idol is my kingdom of God, of Elohim, our Father in heaven. That is my idol. That's all I got is an idol. A person, nay. Nothing in this world, nay. I don't have no idols. I don't play that. I never did. I don't desire to worship a creation that is just like me. You got to see the Father just like I got to see the Father. You got to be saved just like I got to be saved. Uh-uh. We, we ain't doing that no there. But anyways, Seely Growing up, had it hard. Stepdad wanted Nady, 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 I guess Nady, Nady, wanted her sister, Nady, wanted her sister. She was pretty, strong, intelligent. Seely was ugly, as they called her on the movie, but she's a beautiful woman. The young child that was on there, she was a beautiful child. But Satan used her his her stepdad, because her mother passed away, used her stepdad to tear her down. See, Satan have his targets. He have his targets. They abused Satan. Even Mr. He played Danny, uh, Danny Glover. Took her and brought her. He wanted Nady. Nady. I think I'm saying this woman's name right. He wanted her but the father was like no you can't get her she's the prize winner you can have her not knowing that Seely was the prize winner Nady stayed with him he gave Seely Seely was a strong woman at a very young age 14 I believe taking care of somebody else's children cleaning cooking why he can when he went he felt like going to toilet on her, having sex with her, 
he come home and do so abused her in every area of her life she did everything he told her to do beat her used her abused her she went through it her sister was the only thing she ever loved and loved in her they took it mister got mad because he couldn't mess with her sister brought her in the home the one he wanted from the very beginning brought her in the home but see the father had his way of separating things until it's a perfect time to come back together unite and strengthen up when Nady came back well first she was writing her letters after he threw her off the property throwing stones at her whatever whatever they had this little uh demonic witchcraft hand signal you can't keep her from me and he looking at her froze up and they they separated for a long period of time a long period of time she had children from a stepdad thinking that that was a father but her stepdad had children they took the children from her and everything just stripped her from everything that she truly loved for a long period of time for a very long period of time the house that her stepfather was living in told her that it was his but her mother had left it to her for a long period of time she was broken felt like nobody loved her because Satan hindered her from knowing that she was a chosen one put all kinds of hindrance in her pathway making her feel like nobody loved her nobody but one person came in her life first Satan tried to use Shul to turn her out in lust woman to woman but the father said, uh-uh. He brought Shug back, the very woman that Danny was manipulated from, Jezebel. The father used her to get Celie where he need her to be. See, by Shug having dominion over Mr. She can have that opportunity to go through the house. See, she didn't fear him. See, Celie did. Celie was intimidated by him, but Shug wasn't. So when he go off and play with the guys, see, Shug know his every footstep. Celie didn't. Celie was afraid of him. She couldn't even, she was walking on eggshells, eggshells. See, why Jezebel through uh, Shug intimidating Ahab, Ahab was intimidating Celie. A terminator, a terminator being a terminated, a terminating. See, that's how it goes. But Shug, the father allowed Shug to find her letters. What strengthened Celie on a daily? Finding, she start finding places to read her sister letters that she had written to her all her life, where he told her she couldn't even touch the mailbox. He rigged the mailbox up where she couldn't even touch it. He'll find out that she touched it. But she didn't know that he didn't have that much power. He cared less. Only thing he could do was just make her upset. Make her fear. But she, if she was walking in her right mind. But see, he had started intimidating her from a young age. He started taking her heart from her at a young age. An agent for Satan. That's how it go. Somebody in your home taking your heart away from you at a young age so you feel like nobody love you god don't love me nobody why i'm going through this i used to be one of them girls what i'm talking about i used to be one of them children always getting abused hurt abandoned rejected tormented tore down Father, what is going on with me? Why nobody love me? What is up? You say you up there, what's going on? And I'm just saying this. But guess what them letters did? Them letters strengthened her. Now we're gonna reverse it. Just like she can, she Celie found ways 
to read her letters and become strengthened within, she start growing spiritually, use them letters as the word of God. Period. Use those letters as Seely did, as the word of God. Find somewhere in the midst where you can find a safe place, a secret place and start reading the word on a daily basis. Ask the Father to help you out of your situation on a daily basis. Nobody deserves to be tormented. Nobody deserves to be eject, I mean, rejected. Nobody deserves to be abandoned. I don't care who they are. You don't deserve it. For young children, read your Bibles. Ask the Father to help you as well. When you go to school, put that Bible on your app if you ain't got no Bible. Download the Holy Bible, King James Version, or whatever version on your app, on your phone. I don't care if your parents do check your phone. If they said, what this Bible here for? I'm reading the word. The Father will not let nothing happen to you. Believe me. I will pray for every youth in this world. Like I say, just like Celie did, Celie started uh, growing in strength. She started coming to her real self. She found her heart. She took her heart back from Satan. And before you know it, the Father blessed her with many things. Don't be waiting. Don't go to the Father just because you think you're going to get a blessing. Like these pathetical uh, videos and platforms tell you. Love the Father because he got a promise for you. You don't know when that promise is going to come forth. Just like Abra, Abraham. He asked the Father. He said, I want, my, I want a child. Sarah want a child. The father said, okay. They didn't, they was 40 some. When they did get a child, Abraham was a hundred years old. They were stricken in age, but the father didn't break that promise. It's long suffering. When you, when you've been through so much, you need to cleanse. You need to heal. Yeah, that, that uh, spirit of Satan and his little dummies that's around many folks that need to go get their hearts back as well. He will use the very ones that hurt you. He will use the very ones that you love to hurt you. I'm sorry. Get your heart back. Stand. There are always going to be trials and tribulation on this earth. Look who we're under. We're under the prince of the world. There is not going to be no peace. Only peace you're going to get is the peace within. And only the heavenly places can give you that. The world can't give you no peace. Because the world ain't designed to have peace. But you can have peace within. Go get your heart back. I told you a little fable to try to transform you to understand. If you that Seely. Or if you that Mister. I don't care what side you playing. Go get your hearts back. Do not let Satan reign over you on judgment day. Because that day is coming. Just because you acting tough, you are weak. Just because you got many merchandise in your life, bragging and boasting about it, you're weak. You are trying to be in competition with everyone and everything, you're weak. Just because you marrying somebody and you having this fantastic life that you showing on these platforms, you're weak. Go get your heart back. Marrying somebody don't make you, uh, is not going to have you making it into heaven. Being with somebody, you're not going to make it into heaven. The only way you're going to make it into heaven is being obedient and following the commandments of the Most High. That's how you're going to make it into heaven. Anything else, you're weak. We all were weak at once upon a time. I don't care if you're a Jew, Greek, Gentile. I don't care what you is. Hebrew, guess what? The law is faith. The law is obedience to the most high. 
anything outside that is lawless. So know the truth. There is a living God. There is his living son. And there is a living Holy Spirit. And there are demons. There is a existence of Satan. So let me tell you something. Go get your heart back. And how do you do that? One more time. Repent. Confess your sins. And start reading that word so you can power up within. On a daily. Just like you get up and eat. You get up and wash. You get up and talk. You get up and walk. Wheelchair. I don't care what you do. Make reading the word part of your daily routine. If not, you will be reigned over by the kingdom of darkness. You will not prosper. You will always be heartbroken and you will always chase to break other hearts. Because people that is dark, you have a very serious paranoia. You're very paranoid. You think everybody out to get you, but you're only out to get yourself. And for the ones that saying not me, you're the very elect. The not me's. The ones that feel like they don't need no help. They don't need no Jesus. They don't need no Yahshua HaMashiach. They got it all planned out. You can, you can tell that to somebody else that don't know better. But you don't have it all planned out. You're struggling. You're miserable. And I will put the verses in the description box but go get your heart back I plead and beg I beg and plead I don't have no problem I don't have no type of pride in me I plead and beg with all souls that still remaining on this earth go get your heart back blessings to each and every one of you so many prayers going out to everyone I don't care if you're on that side with Satan. My prayers is for you to go get your heart back. Each and every one of you. Go get your heart back. Because the Father is not the one that's breaking your heart. Satan and his one-third friends is. Blessings to each and every one of you. So much love.